Hi, I'm Mrs. Kellogg and welcome to my at home art video series. Okay, so many times students ask me, how do I even get started, Mrs. Kellogg? They see a blank piece of paper and sometimes that's kind of overwhelming. So today we're going to focus on how artists start and they don't start right away on their big art project. What they do is artists warm up. So let's start warming up. Okay, let's, we're going to be using our arms today, so let's, use, let's get those arms warmed up. I'm going to need both arms warmed up. Okay, I'm going to be using my hands a lot, so I'm going to start warming those hands up. Here, I'm warming up. Okay, now, I'm just kidding. Okay, so now, I'm all warmed up, I'm ready to start. So the first element of art we are going to start with is line. And when we start with line, we're going to need two things. We are going to need a pencil and we're also going to need paper. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is this. When I first started drawing, I used to hold my pencil like this, and as you can tell, I start making these teeny weeny little shapes all over and lines all over. You can hardly see them. So, well, I had a great art teacher show me that, yes, when you want to have more controlled lines, you can do that, but you can also hold your pencil like this. Okay, now I'm left-handed, so I'm just going to switch hands real quick because you might be right-handed. So, now I'm going to show you how wide my arm can go. Look it. It's probably, you might not even see it in the screen, but do you see how I'm moving from my shoulder? I'm going to be making some nice lines. Okay, now watch what I can do when I'm holding my pencil this way. So, look. I can take my pencil and I can go like that. Look, I can take my pencil and look at it, I can make thicker lines. When I hold my pencil this way, I can make skinny thin lines. Okay, so now, again, let's get started with some more line work here. I'm going to turn my page and show you. Okay, so again, there's all different types of lines. There's horizontal lines. See, that's going across. There's vertical lines going up and down. There's crooked lines, like I'm climbing a mountain. Boom, 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 boom. There's curvy lines, like I'm traveling over the hills. Okay, then there's broken lines. And... The other line I can also make is lines that go through other lines. And a lot of artists will call this cross hatching. Okay, so there's all my lines. I'm going to just, again, just start to have fun and warm up. I can cross over my lines and see what happens. And I could just practice going like this. And I can practice going across. I can practice, oops, I went off the page. Now, one thing to remember, that's not a mistake. So the way Mrs. Kellogg always looks at um, art, I, I hear a lot of students say, oh, I made a mistake, or somebody, oh, if you make a mistake, to me, there's no mistakes in art. It's all about, mm, this happened, how do I solve the problem? It's an opportunity to solve a problem. So see how I can come off, I can pretend draw, Woo, I can come back on and I'm back at it, making my fun lines. So again, I can keep, if I need to practice climbing the mountain, maybe I can think, oh, I'm surfing, I'm going up and down. Maybe I need to make these fun, long, curvy lines, okay? So these are my fun action lines, see? So these, this is going to help you get more control over that pencil. So that's why artist warm-ups are really important because it makes your hands stronger and it gets your, um, and it, uh, you have way more control over your line work. 
Um, so again, whatever line you want to practice with, you can practice with all type, different types and you can make up your own kind of lines. Okay, now's a good time to pause the video and practice drawing lines. Now remember, our lines. So we've got those diagonal lines, you can have fun practicing, the curved lines, the vertical lines, those up and down lines, horizontal lines, the ones that go across, the wavy lines, and then those crooked lines like you're climbing a mountain. So how, have fun drawing lines for your artist warm up right now. And I'll see you soon when we talk about shapes. I'm gonna pop over here and show you our next card, which is shapes. This is our second element of art. So there's two types of shape. There are these geometric shapes. These are the shapes you study in, in math. So you've got a circle, a triangle, an oval, a square, a rectangle, and I bet you can come up with a lot more geometric shapes that you've learned. So you can use those also, okay? And then you can make up some of your polygon shapes and see how they have these nice angles on them. So that's more of a geometric style. Then the other kind of shapes that a lot of artists use are called organic shapes. So these are kind of your shapes that are all made up. They're really curvy. So the fun thing about shapes is again, it's a great practice and you get to use your imagination by making up new and fun shapes. Okay, so now I'm gonna get started. So maybe I'm just gonna practice drawing circles. Maybe I'll just make a picture out of circles. Okay, maybe I'm gonna make rectangles. Um, maybe I'm gonna try some of those fun organic shapes. Maybe I'm going to connect shapes and see what happens. So see how I'm connecting shapes. See? Touch. Connect. Um, maybe I want to try some of those fun geometric shapes. So what I like to do is I kind of think of what do I need the most practice with? So if it is, maybe you draw really, really tiny and you need to make these big, practice making these big swooping lines, you can do that. Um, or you need to practice, maybe you go, oh, I really want to practice drawing circles today. So that's what I want to do. Or maybe, I'm going to turn my page here. I'm going to practice to, I want to com combine lines and shapes. So maybe I'm going to take, start with my circle. Um, maybe I'm going to draw a big rectangle. Maybe I'm going to add a triangle. Maybe I'm going to curve this. So Maybe I'm just going to keep everything separate. So you are the artist. I'm just giving you some inspiration and um, ideas for you to get started. Um, and how you do that is start with these artist warm-ups. And then once you do that, sometimes you'll see things and you'll go, wow, I'm going to make this out of just these shapes or lines. So. That is our lesson on artist warm-up. And now I want you to remember, relax, have fun, and create.